LeeTDickey.com. Do you have an event or occasion coming up that could use a special touch? Perhaps a wedding, a production, a show? Good! Then you're in luck. Haley Moores is who you're looking for. Haley is a makeup artist in the Toronto, Ontario area, specializing in bridal, glam, natural, and special effects. She's incredibly talented, professional, easy to work with, and has a personality that is second to none. To book Haley Moores today, follow her on Instagram at mad underscore malash, that's M-A-D underscore M-I-L-A-S-H, or email her at madmalash, again, that's M-A-D M-I-L-A-S-H at gmail.com. Book Haley Moores today. You'll be glad you did. LeeTDickey.com LeeTDickey.com Do you find yourself reminiscing on what life was like when you were younger? Do your favorite songs, movies, and TV shows instantly take you back to a simpler time? Great! Then you're in the right place. Join me, Lee Dickey, on my new web series and podcast, Yo Nostalgia, where I cover everything you grew up with. From films and toys to fads and trends, Yo Nostalgia has it all. Subscribe on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever podcasts are available. Follow along on social media at Yo Nostalgia Show to keep up on this time-traveling trip. Yo Nostalgia, breathing new life into your memories, available everywhere now. LeeTDickey.com LeeTDickey.com Do you enjoy good conversation? Are you a person with many passions? Perfect. Then the Beats and Speaks podcast is for you. Join me, Lee Dickey, every Friday for stories and interviews about everyday life with everyday people about everyday things. Everyone has a story, and I just want to help them tell it. The Beats and Speaks podcast, your everyday life, everyday stories, everyday people, comedy and entertainment audio joyride. Subscribe and download on LeeTDickey.com, Lee Dickey TV on YouTube, and your favorite podcast app. The Beats and Speaks podcast, available everywhere now. LeeTDickey.com LeeTDickey.com Controversial statement! Pineapple belongs on pizza! My favorite and go-to pizza toppings coming up right now on a brand new episode of the Beats and Speaks podcast! Yes, before you throw your TV, laptop, console, phone, tablet, anything that allows you access to the internet out the window, hear me out, follow me. I am one of those proponents, I am one of those champions who believes that pineapple belongs on pizza. We are talking my favorite and go-to pizza toppings this week on the Beats and Speaks podcast. Before we go any further... Please do subscribe to the Beats and Speaks podcast on your favorite podcast app and player of choice. You can find all the information in the show notes down below, as well as my official website, LeeTDickey.com. Find us on YouTube as well under Lee Dickey TV. We're on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and basically everywhere podcasts can be found. So please do comment, like, share, subscribe, rate us five stars, and leave us reviews too if you would please. And thank you. Now back to the topic at hand. My favorite and go-to pizza toppings, and yes, as I mentioned off the top, I am a champion for the pineapple. Hear me out, follow me. Now, as the defense attorney for the poor and defenseless, helpless pineapple, I, I've i never liked the conventional pizza toppings, like pepperoni. Like That's fine, but to me... Pepperoni is a lot like vanilla ice cream. If you don't dress it up a little bit every now and again, it can get boring. It can be very bland. Now, there aren't many... How do I put this? There aren't many sort of like small pizza shops, like many mom-and-pop run pizza shops around where I am. You know, not like this corner store, like this corner shop that's been there 50, 60 you know, a hundred years or whatever. There aren't many here in Toronto, at least in my neck of the woods. There are a lot of chain pizza joints around here, like Pizza Iolio is one, 
Domino's is one. Mama's Pizza is another one. And there are several. Like, there's a two-for-one not too far from me. There's a Papa John's not that far. Pizza Pizza is a big one here in Canada. I, you know, and I mean, I've been to, like, these small sort of independently run pizza shops and they're great you know unfortunately one that is where the pizza iolio is now the gerard pizza house or the gerard pizza and spaghetti house one of the two they're uh they're gone i think the guy either just shut it down or because of what's going on now in the world and at the end of 2020 and the way that things are with us you know in quarantine and on lockdown you, you know, I guess, I don't know, either he shut it down and retired or just sold it off or, you know, had to go out because of everything that's going on currently. I'm not sure. I can't speak to that. I've never, I haven't actually spoken to the person, anybody close to that situation, but I'm assuming that he probably just shut it down because he wanted to retire. I don't know. But there aren't many, you know, neighborhood restaurants and pizza joints around me it's a lot of chain restaurants and for some reason ever since i was a kid i've never done things like the conventional way as i said i'm not a big fan of pepperoni because i I view it a lot like vanilla ice cream you kind of have to dress it up every once in a while to make it exciting you know what i mean if you need to spice things up add a few extra toppings that's sort of a life philosophy you know if you need to spice up your life Aside from, you know, cranking up the Spice Girls, you just add a few extra toppings, okay? But pineapple has always been something that I've enjoyed, especially on a pizza. You know, I I don't know why it's never been like pepperoni. It's never been, you know, sort of meat things. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I do love me a good meat slathered pizza, but I'm more of a let's give me something. I mean, ham and pineapple might seem a bit normal now, but back when I was ordering it regularly, like when I was a kid 20, 25 years ago, it wasn't, you know, the normal thing. You'd always get, like, the pepperoni and cheese. You'd always get... It, pepperoni would be the thing. You'd always get either plain cheese, you'd get a pepperoni. Me, pineapple, ham and pineapple, thank you very much. It's just... That's one of the staples that's always been in my wheelhouse in my repertoire if you will if i'm you know if i look at a menu from a pizza place that's always the thing i'm going to gravitate towards like yes i will change it up i will try other things like just recently um i tried a there was there was a deal going on with domino's where you would get it was like two medium pizzas for like 25 dollars. this is canadian by the way it's these two medium pizzas for like $24, $25, three toppings each, okay? And, of course, I got ham and pineapple, and the third topping on that was green peppers. And I like that because it dresses up the pineapple. It gives you an extra crunch, and it's just something else to chew on, right? It's You get the, your ham, your pineapple, which are the two main ingredients, and then, of course, you have to add the third topping on top of that, which for me, is green pepper, and I love, like, bell peppers, green pepper, red pepper, whatever. More so green pepper, just because I feel that they have more crunch, and, you know, it just adds an extra element to the pizza. I love that, about the fact that I love, you know, ham and pineapple on a pie, all right? With the second one, and this is where I deviate, okay, like, I do love me a meat slathered pizza, just not all that often, okay? So, I will get a I will get pepperoni on pizza, and this is what I did with the second three-topping medium that I bought a little while ago, a few weeks ago. It was pepperoni, bacon, and hot peppers. Now, here's the thing. I don't really do spice all that well. I'll get into that in another episode in the coming weeks. But, you know that, I will do mild spice when it comes to... I just need a little kick. Right? Nothing that'll burn my taste buds off. Nothing that'll melt my face. Just a little kick. little kiss of the spice. A little kiss of, you know, a bit of, a bit of heat. Right? So that's another one of my favorite combinations of toppings and flavors. It's pepperoni, bacon, and hot peppers. 
and it's really good. And say you have leftover pizza, you leave that in the fridge, specifically the um, the pepperoni, bacon, and hot peppers. You leave that in the fridge overnight, and it has a chance to go cold. Oh, it's beautiful. It honestly is. Because it wakes you up. You know what I mean? You have that for lunch. Who needs coffee after that, man? That'll woo. I mean, that's the kiss that'll wake you up in the morning. You know what I mean? Or, like, whenever you have it. But getting back to the pineapple, I love it. You know, because it's sweet. You combine that with the ham and the cheese, and it's just this melty, gooey, sweet mess. I have a massive sweet tooth, and I'll get into that in another episode in the coming weeks. So I guess the pineapple, for me, is sort of like dessert on pizza. Like, I understand that there are dessert pizzas out there, there dessert places, dessert restaurants that serve dessert pizza, which is basically chocolate marshmallows or chocolate and peanut butter on pizza. I have no problem with that. I love me a dessert pizza, but if I'm having the like a traditional pie, if you will, it's more so give me a little sweet, give me the the meat, I guess, with the carbohydrate, you get the ham or whatever, the, that combination, then you get the cheese and you get the sauce. And here's another thing as to why I'm a champion of the pizza. Everybody's going to, you know, the people that are anti-pineapple on pie or pineapple on pizza pie, right? It's, well, fruit doesn't belong on pizza. Here's my argument for that, again, as defense attorney for the helpless, defenseless pineapple when it comes to pizza. Tomatoes are fruit. They are considered a fruit. Tomatoes are in your pizza sauce. The, t- the, the sauce goes on your pizza. Therefore, you are already having fruit on your pizza. Yes, but it doesn't taste like fruit. I Okay, fine. No problem. I got that. Here's the thing. Stranger things have happened. I'm sure you've seen stranger combinations on pie. The tomato is a fruit. It's already on your pizza. It's in the sauce. The sauce is on the pizza. Deal with it. Some people like unconventional things. I am one of those people. Okay? I love me pineapple on pizza. Everybody's like, no, ew, man. I was never the popular kid growing up when I said, like, can we get, like, a ham and pineapple? Or can I get pineapple on pizza because everybody I knew was like straight just plain cheese or you know you'd get pepperoni and it's just like this seems so boring it, it legit I guess because it wasn't I I don't want to call it n- like not exciting but I, I guess it just was it was too normal I guess what I want to say it's just that it, it was everything you know you'd go to like say, a Chuck E. Cheese, or you'd go to, like, a, a kid's birthday, or you, you just go out to a restaurant or whatever. You'd, like, go to somebody's house, and they'd have pizza, and you're like, cheese, pepperoni. I'm like, of course. You're going to go with the staples because you're busy, and you're hosting, and it's crazy. But every time I'd look at it, i go, I'm going to eat it, but I'm, like, sort of eating it under protest. Like, but I'm not going to say anything to the people hosting because it's not my house. I'm just kind of like, okay, yeah, whatever. It was so strange to me that everywhere I went, it was like pepperoni cheese, pepperoni cheese, you know, and then when I'd say like ham and pineapple, they'd look at me like I was from a different planet, you know. Yes, I come from Jupiter. We have 75 arms. So, fine. Like, I understand that not everybody is a fan of pineapple on pizza. I understand that, okay, yes, I'm a little unconventional. You turn me upside down, you open up the top of my head, you let all the cookies fall out fine no big deal i like pineapple on pizza some people don't and i'm a fan of a little spice mild spice on my pizza pepperoni bacon and uh, hot peppers is another one of my favorite combinations another favorite combination of mine is if you have obviously you get the ham the pineapple and the green pepper that's a winning combo in my book but you know if you're going straight like just What's on the menu? What is your standard pizza? Like, if you're ordering it off, you're not, like, picking the toppings yourself. Usually, for me, it's... I am a fan of a, the deluxe pizza. You get your pepperoni, you get your mushrooms, you get your green peppers. That's good for me. And I'm even a fan of, like, say, a garden vegetable pizza, which is, like, tomato, onions, cheese, and, like, just random, like, vegetables you'd get out of a garden, obviously. That's why they call it a garden vegetable pizza. And that's cool. I've seen pizza combinations with, like, 
with pickles on them. I'm not knocking the pickles on pizza. I would actually love to try that because I am a fan of pickles. But, yeah, I mean, like, I love pineapple on pizza and, you know, a little little kick every now and again. I don't want to melt my face off. I'd like to keep my tongue where it is. And I, I understand that not everybody's going to be a fan of pineapple on pizza. There are people that are like, oh, my God, why? Why does this guy love pineapple on pizza? And I, was, I always felt that I was the kid that people would look at as strange, like, the guy's from another planet. He's got 67 eyes and 97 arms plus, like, you know, a thousand fingers. Because it's like, why does this guy have pineapple? Like, nobody I knew at the time was like, I want pineapple on my pizza when I was a kid. Everybody was like, cheese, pepperoni. And I'm the kid coming out of left field. Yeah, give me pineapple on my pizza. And they're like, huh? Like, you're, wait a minute. Tim Allen from Home Improvement a little bit. There you go. But, I mean, I remember, I want to say it's about 20 years ago, uh, my sister was visiting uh, my parents and I, and they wanted to get pizza. So I can't remember if we came to a compromise or my parents got two pizzas, but I do remember that my sister ordered this combination or wanted this combination. It was pineapple, extra cheese, and green olives. Now, I've never been a big fan of olives. I still don't like them all that much. I'm just like, I, I'd rather avoid them. If I could, like, no olives, please. And I'm the same way with, you know, say, onions on my burger. No, thank you. I don't want a giant ring of onions on my burger unless they've been, you know, thrown in batter and then thrown in a deep fryer and then stuck on the burger as a topping. But, I mean, just straight onions? No, thanks. I can handle cooked down onions, but not just, like, this slab of onion on my... That's another story. I mean, I'm pretty sure I put a... A video up about it on my YouTube channel, Lee T. Dick or Lee Dickey TV. More information at Lee T. Dickey dot com. All the all the links in the show notes down below. But yeah, so she ordered this combination of extra cheese, olives, green olives, and pineapple. And I am not a big fan of olives, black olives, pimento. I just no, thank you. I green olives, black olives, pimento. I was just not my thing. I don't like them. I just, I don't know, for some reason, I just think they're a bit too sour. Or they're, you know, they don't taste good, in my opinion. Some people might love olives. I don't. But even I, I'll give her credit, you know, because she is older than me. And we don't see each other much, if at all, anymore. But she was visiting, and we, you know, we're having pizza. It was my parents and my sister and myself. And we dug into this, like, extra cheese, pineapple, green olive combination on pizza. I actually liked it. You know, my sister and I did not agree on much. We do not agree on much. Uh, But we, like, that was one of those things where I was like, wow, this is actually really good. Keep in mind, I'm probably, like, 10 or 11 years old, right, at the time. And I remember, it was in my... It was in my repertoire. It was in my, you know, typical, like, pizza rotation for a few years. Maybe I'll try to try that again, you know, sometime down the road. But, like, extra cheese, green olives, and pineapple. Like, who knew? That's a winning combination, at least according to my insights and, like, my taste buds and, you know, my stomach. I feel good, I feel full, and I feel fed. So, like, that's... Just one of those things. And getting back to this sort of pepperoni, bacon, hot peppers combo that I've mentioned a few times. I actually first found out about that through a buddy of mine who ordered it one day. And, like, I just said, hey, you mind if I, you know, can I try a piece? And I tried a piece and fell in love with it. So, like, that... From that day on, that was about five years ago or something like that. Maybe five or six years ago. So, you know, since that day, that's always been like a staple pizza combination for me where it's like pepperoni, bacon, and hot peppers. Again, I'm never going to deviate from like the ham, the pineapple, or having pineapple on pizza. Like I tried pizza, I probably had pizza twice in the last like two months. 
but you know one of the pieces I did get was from this it's a chain but there are a couple blocks north of me it's called Mama's Pizzas so I went in there I was gonna get like a standard ham and pineapple anyway but then they had I think it was ham pineapple bacon and like something else there was something else on the pie. It was like three or four toppings. I think it might have been ham, pineapple, and bacon. And there might have been one other meat on the pizza. But I tried that just in, in case, you know, just in lieu of getting your standard ham and pineapple. But I, you know, I was like, yeah, we'll try it. That there's ham and pineapple on the pizza. It's fine. I just, you know, let's try it because, you know, it costs a couple extra dollars, but whatever it's there give it a shot no big deal and I got a large just because I knew that you know my mom was coming home and like she would want to eat so I figured instead of having her cook because it was a bit later I would just you know go pick up a pizza and then bring it back to the house so I ordered it it's called I think it's called the Aloha right because pineapple why not it's good and it was good. It was really, really good. I mean, if I didn't stop myself from eating, I'm not kidding, I would have finished the majority of the pizza. I had probably two pizzas before my mom got home and maybe another piece or two before we both went to bed. So it was like three or four pieces of the Aloha from Mama's Pizza like that night a few weeks ago. And, I mean, it was a good combination, right? Like I, like I said, there aren't many sort of independently run pizza shops around me. It's a lot of chain stores. You get your two-for-one. You get your Papa John's. You get your Pizza Pizza. You get your Domino's. You get, you know, your Pizza Iolio. You get Mama's Pizza. Just, there's a lot of places like this. There's like Diamond Pizza. There was a Diamond Corner, which I think is a, is an offshoot of the Diamond Pizza chain, uh, probably six or eight blocks north of where I am. And unfortunately, like they closed shop, but I mean, I went in there for other things like their burgers and their fries and what have you. They're good. They were good too, you know. I mean, like just the food there, the food options were great. But when it comes to um, pizza, like, yes. I am a champion for pineapple on pizza, and those are my go-to combinations of toppings that will go on my pizza, my favorite toppings and combinations for pizza. Let me know what you guys think. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Find us on your favorite podcast app and player of choice, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Rate us five stars. Leave us reviews, too, if you would, please. And thank you. Subscribe on YouTube under Lee Dickey TV. Of course, all the important links will be listed in the show notes and description down below. Follow along on social media at Lee T. Dickey. Of course, links down in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode about my favorite go-to pizza toppings right here on a brand new episode of the Beats and Speaks podcast. I have been your host, Lee Dickey, and I will see you next week for a brand new episode of the Beats and Speaks podcast. I'm wrapping this up. Thank you all for listening. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Rate us five stars. Leave us reviews. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you next week. See you later. Talk to you soon. Bye now. dickie.com